Maybe. The question is, did you ever fly over commercial airports? That was the question from my wife. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, I think it was the 1982 or 83 Toronto Air Show. I was a participant, and um, we uh, took an SR-71 there, and it was three crew members went. Uh, one crew flew it in, one crew flew the uh, second day air show, and the third crew, which was myself, flew just uh, a couple of flybys at the uh, third day of the air show and then actually flew the aircraft back to Beale Air Force Base. And the Toronto air show is over the, um, what is it, Labor Day weekend? Is it the Labor Day weekend in September? What's the first it's Monday? Yeah, that, that's when they always have it. And uh, when we, and it's a holiday weekend. So when I came back into the Sacramento area and uh, I was descending down to land at Beale and we had uh, a lot of fuel and uh, we had to work on the holiday. And I said, uh, yeah, I asked the backseater, I said, you wanna make an approach at Sac Metro? And he said, can we do that? And I said, why not? <laughs> you can do anything once. Yeah, exactly. So, so, so I, on approach control, I, uh, when we got over to um, approach control, I asked if SAC Metro was uh, available for a, uh, uh, an approach. And they said, uh, they switched us over to SAC Metro and they uh, cleared us for an approach. So as we were coming down uh, final, and we had configured the airplane with the gear down and we were about two miles out on final, uh, I asked the controller, uh, they switched us over to tower, and I asked the tower, I said, would you like a flyby down the runway or down the ramp? <laughs> and the guy said, down the ramp. And I said, okay. I sucked the gear up and I pushed the power up, and we uh, started heading towards the ramp, or towards the tower. And uh, as we were approaching it, I rolled the plane up away from the tower and lit the afterburners. And uh, we went around uh, and made a pass, and the tower controller said, beautiful, beautiful, come back and do another one. And I said, I better not, I want to go to Beale. <laughs> so we went back to Beale and we landed, and as I mentioned, holiday weekend, and uh, Colonel uh, Lonnie Liss was the, was he the? He was the DO. He was oh the director God. of flight operations, the Straight DO. Lonnie. Sorry? Straight Lonnie. Straight yeah. Lonnie, yeah. <laughs> Anyhow. So he met us when we uh, pulled in the hangar after we landed. As I mentioned, that was the normal procedure. And I thought, well, that's nice that he came out. <laughs> <laughs> As I came down the ladder from the aircraft, he uh, looked at me and said, uh, Maury, and I said, yes, sir. He said, do we have any regulations that say we can't make approaches at Sacramento Airport? I said, no, sir. I want one on my desk at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs> now, there, there's a continuation to this story. I retired in 87 and flew with uh, United uh, Airlines. When I went, I had previously flown for United, I had a break in service. When I went back to United, I was a 760 co-pilot, uh, 760, uh, yeah, Boeing 767 co-pilot. And um, one of my, uh, that first year in 87, I think it was either the fall of 87 or the winter of 88, right after the new year, I was flying a 767 from uh, Washington, D.C. to San Francisco. And um, <clears throat> an air traffic controller wanted to know if they could ride in the cockpit. And the captain of the plane signed it off. They have that privilege or if they want to do that. And uh, the aircraft, normally when they do that, if there's an empty seat somewhere, the captain will ask one of the flight attendants, stick him in an empty seat in the back of the plane. The plane was full. So this young lady was the air traffic controller. She came in, she's quite an tra attractive young lady. And the captain I was flying with was, uh, I don't know if he was married or not, but I know he was a big flirt. I hadn't flown with him before. <laughs> so uh, I was flying, it was my leg from DC to San Francisco. Uh, you would trade off flying legs in the airlines. And we're flying and he's just talking to her halfway across the country. And at some point he asked her uh, how long she'd worked at uh, San Francisco airport and she hadn't been there that long. She said, I used to work SAC Metro. So this is, 19, I think it was 1988. And uh, I looked over my shoulder at this young lady and I said, were you working SAC Metro in uh, 1982 or whatever it was, 82 or 83? And she looked at me and she said, 
yeah, I was. Uh, why do you ask? And I said, were you working tower when the SR-71 buzzed it? And she said, oh, yeah, I was. How did you know that? <laughs> and I told her it was me, and she started laughing, and she said, you scared the hell out of people. She said, there, she said there were people in the terminal that dived to the ground. They thought the airplane was going to hit the terminal.